Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Agrarian Skies. I am working on getting another project going. It's going to be another another long time automation project. I need to get a harvester made, but I think I do not have the iron to make the shears. So... Get some gravel. Gravel sifted. Sift that gravel. So, I'm back from my my long week. I actually do have enough iron. Okay, that's good. So, I went to a family reunion slash 90th birthday party for my great grandma. 10 hour total car drive back and forth it sucked I had one day to rest and then immediately had to go to my mom's place where I got to rip out drywall and moldy insulation for two days oh yeah it was it was awful there was a closet which had an entire ant colony living in the insulation. Oops. Well, looks like I got the Invar out. That's good. I don't know how much was in there. Oops. I uh, fell down through the water. Ow. Ugh. I'm still kind of wore out from it, and it's been two days. I am not a guy who is meant to do manual labor. It just doesn't work well with me. But anyway, it's, it's a nice looking house. It's got, it's got a huge, huge room above the garage with a fireplace in it. I, I've i never had a fireplace in a house I've lived in when I lived with my parents. Which kind of sucks because I would love to have a fireplace inside so I could roast marshmallows in the winter because I like marshmallows. And now I'm kind of like a marshmallow. I need to do with some exercise. Ugh. But anyway, you know our axe. There we go. Rubber sheets. Where do I have rubber sheets? I should have some somewhere. Please, they might be in my system. But anyway, now I'm back. I have to go up again next Sunday, which irritates me. But at least it's only going to be for Sunday. It's not going to be a two-day thing. I don't have to sit there and waste my time. You know, the sucky thing about it is that my mom's not even going to be staying in the house. She's going to be moving out. In three years, she plans on turning it over for a profit. And guess who's not going to see any of that money? This guy. She thinks that she'll be able to make a $180,000 profit on the house. That should be fine. Just let it keep on getting more ore. I, I'll need more iron eventually. But for now, it can sit there. So yeah, that irritates me a little bit. I'm doing all this work for free to supposedly help my mom when it really is just to make her investment worth more. I freaking hate that. But the reason I do it is because if I don't do it, then I'd have to listen to my mom and my grandparents and maybe my stepdad all griping about how I'm not there to help my poor sick mom. <sighs> you know, my family irritates me. <laughs> irritates me to no end. Oh, right. 
I forgot to put the rubber in the smeltery. Forgot to smelt my rubber. Okay, well that's going. I have my platform all set up. Oh, one more thing I need to make actually to get this working. The aqueous accumulator. Pneumatic servo. I need to make a new one because I just used up my last one making a blacklist on that trash can. Because I want to keep creeper trophies. I, I plan on making a creeper cannon. Because it's fun. Anyway. Autonomous activator that uses... Was it tin or aluminum? I think it was tin. Oh no wait. It requires iron. So yeah, I do need a lot of iron. Alright, let's see. Five iron left. Two. I do have buckets, so I will just use one of those. I think I have three total laying around. My rubber should be ready to smelt again. There you go. Let's see. I have redstone in here. I need some glass. Got sand on me. So I need my furnace. Darn it. Now let's see. What else do I need for the aqueous accumulator? Tin the machine frame. So I need a lot of glass. Six total. And I need all the iron that I have, plus some that I don't. Okay, where's my iron? Iron. Thank you. I love this little machine. Okay, so it does have a bit of a limit. If there is an item here where it doesn't have the ability to turn it into a 4x4 or a 3x3 recipe, it will jam. Okay then. That's good to know. So maybe... Maybe I want to set it up so that I have multiple auto packagers per item. It's a good thing to test. But if I have multiple auto packagers per item, then that'll turn out pretty well. No! I'm stuck again! I forgot my axe downstairs! Help! I have an Invar axe, but I don't know if I can use a damaged one, so... Darn it. So yeah. That's pretty much what I've been doing these past couple days, where I've only been able to get a Factorio video out per day. Okay, you smelt down. I will go switch out my item. My items in the in the smelting in the furnace. I'll replace my floor in a moment. It's raining now. Lovely. We love the rain here. Sand and rubber. Plastic sheets. I forgot you get so much. Well, we'll have extra. And we can get one machine made. And our axe. There we go. Harvester made. And my iron should be smelted in just a second. Good timing. Pour that out.
Let's see. Glass might be done now. A lot of running back and forth in this episode, it seems. It's a good thing I got so much fruit salad. Let's see, and the amount of iron we have is seven. Okay. So I need to get four taken out. Three and four. There we go. Okay, so machine first. Need a bit of gold. Thank you. Gold, iron, there we go. Machine frame. Now the pneumatic servo, I think, was iron on the top, glass on the sides, and redstone in the middle? Yes. Okay. Need a bucket. Machine frame, max servo, tin, and I need more glass. Darn it! I forgot the extra bit of glass that is used in the main part. Oh, I got close. Okay. We also are going to need a planter, but I will worry about that in a moment. At least I think I'll need a planter. There we go. So, let's head up above. My tree farm is working beautifully, by the way. So this is where we're going to have it set up. And we're going to need to put you right here. Fluid duct and item duct. Actually, I don't need an item duct because we can just put the we can just put the quest delivery system straight behind this and it'll work. Oh no, wait, we do need an item duct because we're gonna have to right, right. We need the item duct to separate the seeds if it doesn't for the crops that might not just be harvested by right clicking. I wonder if a fruit picker would work better than a harvester. I'll have to test it out at some point. But anyway, we're going to put the aqueous accumulator right here. And we're going to put a sprinkler right here on top. Because with that, we'll be able to put bone meal in the sprinkler and it'll grow the crops faster, allowing the quest to be finished sooner. And I don't know which crop I'm going to go for. I, I might not have any of the seeds for the crops necessary, so we'll have to bone meal the grass and get the sickle out. Uh, quest book. And there actually is a quest I can complete. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, it's for the hoarding. So we need lettuce, Zucchini or tomato. So we have to we have to get the seeds for that before we can actually start the quest. But I'm prepared ahead of time to get this done. Sands of time. Double compressed sand, a hundred. Right. That one's gonna be a, a lengthy process. But anyway, the quest I can complete is actually gonna go with the flow. Because it looks like these no longer require you to get hundreds of buckets worth of them. Now it just wants you to get one bucket of it. Which makes me a little sad because I was looking forward to getting a whole bunch of machinery set up to get the big questing done. 
but I'll claim my reward. It says it locked one quest elsewhere. I wonder if... No... Because the aged juice is the vinegar one, which... <sighs> that makes me sad. And bragging rights. I wonder if it will add a whole tree of quests and for the hoarding. If you finish all the liquid quests. That would be kind of neat. Like they're hidden quests. But yeah, now I only need to get a bucket or a can or a bottle of each of these liquids. So it will be pretty easy for me to do this, I guess. Mob Essence is actually a repeatable one, which is kind of cool. And your reward for it is half a heart each time. Strong Bones, that's another one. Oh, look, there it is. That wasn't here before. So are these quests actually hidden? <laughs> okay, I think I know what's going on here. They, they did it as a tier, but the quests are hidden, I think. I didn't see a, a Strong Bones quest here before, but that's a repeatable quest. So, cool. And it sounds like my girlfriend is awake. I will be right back. Alright, back to what we were doing. And what we were doing was... I don't remember. <laughs> but let's go down below and... <clears throat> I can connect the pipes at least. Do, 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 and I avoided getting sick! Awesome! Hooray! That's the first time I didn't get sick when I went by the sludge boiler in a very long time. I'm usually always getting sick from that thing. Oop. Just enough. Wow. That is awesome. Is this thing not functioning right now? Oh, nope, it's functioning. Ah! Ow! No! <clears throat> Curse you, Sludge Boiler. I need to I need to move that to another area. This is... It needs to be in a spot where it's not going to make me ill. But for now, that's fine. It's fine. Okay, so... Power is going to come from over here, but connecting it is not important right now. Did it just teleport over there? Okay. So I did do a little test in my test world to see if this was going to... Uh, Destroy the lettuce leaves, and I believe that it will. So, <clears throat> that means I need a planter. Great! More things for me to craft. Fortunately, I have most of what I need. I need to get the rest of my iron out of the, out of the tank. I'll get this thing filled eventually, I swear. Well, let's see, I'm going to need a total of six iron to finish this. So pretty much all the iron we have left. Let's see, reception coil, that's gold. So I need two ingots worth of gold. Three. Four. And last one. Thank you. Actually, you know what? I'll get that last one out of there, too. No more iron. Okay, then gold's next.
Thank you. Need to get more glass. I need clay to make into a pot. I might have the clay to make a pot, actually. I don't know. Okay, sand. A cobblestone and redstone. Cobblestone, wood planks. All redstone that you could need. Let's see. Hello, kitty. You're an irritant, but that's fine. You can be here for now. You know, I, I have plenty of gold in here. I don't know why I keep pouring out more. <clears throat> and I do have the clay. That's for a bucket. It's a brick, isn't it? Yeah, it's a brick. Okay. And I think I got everything, except for some copper. There we go. Copper's, copper's ready. Okay, so machine frame. Leave the gold there. Reception coil, machine frame, copper, pot, the pistons, and the rubber. There we go. Planters made. It actually went by a lot faster than I was expecting. Give me that wood. I need some more wood to make some slabs for the platform. And let's hope I do not get sick when I run by this one again. Will I make it? I did it! Wow, I barely get sick anymore. Okay, so we need to go... Six blocks in, and I realized that I made this a little bit too large for the thing that should work. It, it needs to be one smaller for the sprinkler to work. So, I'll actually take care of that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and right here is where the planter would be. Give myself a little extra ledge. And there. So the planter has to go right here. Okay. And we will add the power pipe right here. Okay. And I will get this item duct taken care of in a moment. You know what? I should just move this out of the way. There we go. And I think, other than taking care of the positioning of everything up there and getting the seeds, we are pretty much set. Wow, that's a lot of tree. You are backed up, aren't you? You are indeed backed up. That means that the chest is full. I better take care of that quick. What are you full of? Saplings? Random garbage? Definitely saplings. Look at all this clay. I mean, geez. All these apples. I will never run out of fruit salad. But mainly it's these saplings that are jamming everything up. It's fine, though, because I can take them all over here and go bloop, and they will, they will sift through, get turned into dirt, and I will have loads of dirt for any more expansion that I want to do later on. Or for that compressed dirt quest. Okay, now that the system's no longer clogged, let's grab this extra half heart and make ourselves a full heart. Delicious! There 
Now, I don't have a pick on me at all, so I hope... Oh, I didn't put down my sprinkler yet. Okay, that's fine. Then I'll just do that. And it should allow me to... Uh, it should allow me to have the aqueous accumulator on top of the planter and everything still work. So let's do that. Put you here. I do not have any buckets on me. Let me go grab one. Hi there, kitty. Let's see. Do I have a bucket anywhere up here? It's going to cauliflower tomato. Ooh, I could do tomatoes first. That would be a good way to go. Yeah, let's do the tomatoes first. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the seeds in here for now. Oh, and there's a bucket right here. Good. Let's see. Thinking, thinking. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know what. Shouldn't matter, though. Oh, I need a hoe. Right. Eh, let's just grab everything. Nope, not there. And was it copper or or tin? You are fluid, so it's tin. Yep, tin. Good. Okay, where's my hoe? I have one somewhere. Must be my in my system. Nope. Do not have a hoe in here. Huh. So either I have what have it upstairs or I do not have a hoe. Oh, well, I have all the materials to make one. Let's just go upstairs. What is that noise outside? Eh, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Two wooden hoes. And... Doo -doo -doo. Should be everything. Sprinkler. It'd help if I had my sprinkler. And let's just grab the tomatoes. There we go. I say there we go a lot, don't I? I should try to stop that. Oop. One, two. So that'll go there. This one will go here. The dirt will go here and here. We need a wood block here with a torch on it. That will help provide the light. And same thing on the other side. Okay. And yes, that does cut down the amount of area that I have for crops to grow on, but this entire thing should grow crops pretty fast. Which hopefully will make it so that I can get all the automated food production, at least the automated raw vegetable production, taken care of without, without a sweat. And 
There we go. So that's the area. Uh, you know, I could have left it bigger, but... Uh, I, I realize now that I could have left it bigger because of the water being off to the sides a little bit. But the sprinkler only covers that small area. And that's the only thing I care about, is the sprinkler area. So let's get some tomatoes planted. All right. Now, one thing I do not know is if this is going to... If it's going to chop the tomato plant down. I tested with the lettuce plant, and it chopped the lettuce plant. So, before we put in any upgrades... Let's do that, and we'll go hook up the power... And then I can see if... Ooh, hello, tree. I can see if it chops the tomato plant down completely, or if it will only harvest the tomatoes. Ooh, we are getting bad lag. Why is that bad lag showing up? Let's break... The connection here. All right. And I don't have a quest delivery system. Let's get that taken care of. Yep. Q D West Quest Delivering System. Tracking gate. I don't even know what these are. But this is what we want to make. A quest book is actually pretty easy to make. You just need a piece of string, and you can make it. Darn it! Got sick again. Okay, so string. There we go. And the QDS requires glass, of course, so we have to get some smelted. Two, three, four. Come on, hurry up. There we go. I will take the rest of my fruit salad. Now that I'm no longer building building random platforms overhanging the void, there's no reason not to have all my salad on me. I got the quest book back. Okay, whatever. Ooh, look, an apple. Two apples. Okay. So let's grab our quest book. For the hoarding. Well, actually, Hell's Kitchen first, because we got the tomatoes, so we can turn that in. Claim the reward. Go to For the Hoarding. We now can select this task. It is now set to fruit or veggie, so, so it should automatically take all the tomatoes and put them in place. I wonder if I can reach the broken spot from here. No, I can't. 
That's all right. I don't mind all this running back and forth. I really need to get a better system set up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, reconnect this here. This can stay disconnected for now. We'll go up there and connect it so I can actually see the results with my own eyes. Okay, so, will it chop down the tomato plant? Will it even recognize the tomato plant? Huh. How are you gonna are you gonna work? Well dang it. Okay, so what does it take to make a fruit picker? Because that's the only other option that I believe we're gonna have. Ooh, it requires way more iron than this this already did. Darn it! Alright, let me cut away until I get the iron necessary to make the fruit picker, and we will try it with the root, with the fruit picker. With the fruity picker. See you in a moment. Alright, so I think I got everything I needed. Do, do, do for shears, the axe. The shears were a pain. Axe, the sh in frame, and the raw, the, the plastic sheets. We have our fruit picker. I'm developing a weird voice. I don't care. So, harvester did not work. You leave me disappointed. Oh, I have it. Did I get a tomato from that? I have a tomato. I'm a, I must have right-clicked that one. So the fruit picker. Is not picking the tomatoes. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, that is a lot of tomatoes I would have to pick by hand if none of these are going to work. But you see what I'm dealing with here. It's The fruit picker is not picking the tomatoes. The harvester was not picking the tomatoes. What is going to pick my tomatoes? Wait a second. I am an idiot. <laughs> okay. This was all my fault. <laughs> I am an idiot. That is all we really need to take away from this. We have six tomatoes out of 10,000. Hooray! The quest is working. The harvester is working. My brain is not working, but that's okay. We will get there eventually, brain. So that's going to be it for this episode, then. I'm going to finish getting this garden all filled with tomato seeds, because apparently these ones will actually pick the tomatoes and not break the plants, which means the harvester is temporarily, or the planter is temporarily useless, 
but it will be useful in the long run, as we will end up having to uh, we'll end up having to do the lettuce, and the harvester does break lettuce. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and fave, and I will see you in the next episode, whenever that may be. Take care, guys, and goodbye.